prochaine, je pense. Yeah. So, Shalom, Shalom. Our praises, our power, our glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh be the name of the Father, who the world and we calls God, meaning He exists. Ba Hashem meaning in the name Yahushai, be the name of the Son, who the world and we calls Jesus Christ. Yahushai, meaning He delivers. He saves Bahashem in the name Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach well and woo well who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwakim, listen and listen and learn it in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom Wab. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp. Here in Toronto with another lesson. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathi meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. Revelation 13, verse 1, we'll get right into it. And it reads, and this is a vision of John the Revelator, right? And it reads, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. The beast being NATO in the EU, having seven heads and ten horns. The seven heads is the 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 Esau's empires, the Greeks, the Romans, the French, right? And this topic here we're touching. Macron is visiting China. The president, the president or prime minister of France, is over in China right now visiting Xi Jinping, and uh. You know, the French being one of Esau's empires, right? Meanwhile, uh, the president of um, Taiwan is currently in America, visiting America. Okay? So, allies and deals are being made. So, once again, the seven heads, Esau's empires, the Greeks, the Romans, the French, the Spanish, the British... Jermaine are major, Jermaine are minor. And the ten horns, ten horns, originally ten founding nations of the EEC, the European Economic uh, Community, right? Originally ten, ten, originally ten founding nations, all right? Later becoming the EU. And upon his horns, ten crowns. And upon his head's the name of blasphemy, right? This beast, okay? This dragon, this beast, all right? The revised Roman Empire, NATO and the America the Great, Babylon the Great, the whore that sits on the beast, all right? They've done nothing but blaspheme. Verse 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Right? The leopard is symbolic of, of, of the Greeks. Beginning with Alexander the Great. This was the beginning of Edomite supremacy. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. The bear is symbolic of the Russians. Because the Russians will be will be instrumental in the ending of the, of, 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 of the beast... The destruction of the beast, the ending of America the Great, Rome 2.0, the dragon. Right? The the bear, the Russians will be will be the ones that shoot off the missiles. He will take the lead. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion, the lion is symbolic of the British. And the dragon, the Roman Empire, gave him his power. And his seat and great authority. Third verse. 
and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, the revised Roman Empire. And all the world wondered after the beast, all the world wondered, right, I want to look in this word wondered, right, wondered. Right, because something's going to take place where NATO and the EU is going to turn on the whore. Right? Revelation 13, 3, wondered. Look at this word, wondered, in the Greek. Wondered. Thalmazo, Thalmazo. Strong's G twenty two ninety six, Thalmazo, Thalmazo. To wonder, wonder at, marvel, to be wondered at, to be had in admiration. Right, the whole world looks at the beast, marvels after the beast. There's a scripture that said, "Who can make war with the beast?" Right. The root word in the Greek. Strong's G, 2295, Thalma. Thalma. A wonderful thing, a, mar a marvel, a wonder. To wonder with great wonder, exceedingly. Right? The whole world is in wonder and admiration of the beast. So one U.S. ally is buying Russian oil, another is visiting China. We're talking about French President Emmanuel Macron. He's going to China. With him will be European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. They're scheduled to meet Chinese President Xi Jinping on Wednesday. And Macron is taking a delegation of French business leaders with him. Much like German Chancellor Olaf Scholz did last year. He visited China. Now the French President and the EU chief are going. The trend is quite clear. With zero COVID gone, Europe is looking to get back in business with Beijing. It may seem a bit hypocritical because every other week, Europe chastises China for supporting Russia. They keep killing China over its oil purchases from Russia. They keep complaining about China helping Russia bypass Western sanctions. And yet, when it comes down to it, European business interests trump Ukrainian lives, it seems. Let me show you the numbers. In 2020, China overtook the U.S. as the EU's top trade partner. Bilateral trade was $709 billion. This is between China and the EU in 2020, the year China exported a pandemic, $709 billion. In 2021, when the pandemic was still raging, trade went up to $732 billion. And remember, this was despite zero COVID. Between 2019 and 2021, the EU's imports from China went up by 30%. And Europe, too, has been pouring money into China. Between 2018 and 2021, Europe made up 80% of global investment in China, 80 80%. The volumes are very high, so much so that Europe-China trade has been described as too big to fail, which explains why European leaders go to China all the time, despite domestic and international tensions. Take the case of Macron. He's traveling while his country is rocked by protests because Europe depends on Chinese trade. So when they say tough words, slamming China, it means very little. Listen to this. This is what the EU chief said about China last week. Far from being put off by the atrocious and illegal invasion of Ukraine, President Xi is maintaining his no limits friendship. These escalatory actions point to a China that is becoming more repressive at home and more assertive abroad. This is why it is vitally important for diplomatic stability and open communication with China. I believe it is neither viable nor in Europe's interest to decouple from China. Our re relations are not black or white, and our response cannot be either. She started by criticizing China, 
then went on to say that Europe-China relations are not black and white, which is all very well and convenient. And now she's heading to China. Reports say the EU chief will take a tough stand with President Xi Jinping. She's supposed to be the bad cop in the meeting, which means Macron will likely play the good cop. Of course, they'll discuss the war in Ukraine and urge China to help. They'll try and pressure Xi Jinping into using his influence over Russian President Vladimir Putin. China is expected to push its 12-point peace plan, the same one that she unveiled in Moscow last month. And the Europeans are expected to reject it because China wants to see Russia retaining the land it has captured. It's a plan that suits Russia and China on board and for obvious reasons. So Beijing's much-wanted peace plan is a dud. Yet Macron says China could be a quote-unquote game-changer in the war. Which game are they changing, we ask? Does all of Europe's support for Ukraine pale in front of the Yuan? Why is Europe willing to risk Washington's ire by doing business with Beijing? Because remember, U.S. at historic lows. Washington has ramped up export controls. It is trying to stop Beijing from accessing advanced American computer chips. And the U.S. has been on all its allies to do the same. Why then? Are these very allies cozying up to Beijing? Like I said, it's about business. The, the U.S. has made some moves that hurt European interests. Subsidies given out by the Biden administration could hurt Europe. Companies could relocate from Europe to the U.S. due to Biden's actions. And these measures have caused a rift in the United Western Front. Europe is looking to protect its interests. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if that's really what it's about, the world could do without Europe's holier-than-thou attitude. Khan. <clears throat> Slovakia. Right. Revelation 13. Verse 4. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. The beast, NATO and the EU. Right, the dragon, the Roman Empire, Rome, Rome 2.0. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Right, who is able to make war with the beast? NATO, the EU, America the Great. Right? Scriptures say, These shall hate the whore. We'll close out with that scripture, Lord willing. Right? So allies are being made. Right? France is one of the uh, 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 empires of Isa. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 9, and it reads, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, America, an assembly of great nations from the north country. Right? The north country, the assembly of great nations from the north country. Russia, Gog and Magog, and they shall set themselves in array against her, right, formation, battle formation against Babylon. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. They'll return in vain, right? So Russia is going to lead the charge. Russia is going to fire their arrows, which are thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. It says here, none shall return in vain. They're not going to miss. Verse 10, and Chaldea shall be a spoil, America. All that spoiler shall be satisfied, saith the Lord Yahweh. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage. Destroyers of mine heritage. Who destroyed the Lord Yahweh Bishim Yosai's heritage? Esau Edom, America the Great. The beast, the Lord's heritage being Israelites, Israel being a people before a place. Because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. Verse 12, your mother shall be sore confounded. The mother, the mother of who? America the Great, Babylon the Great. Who is what? Britain. She that bear you, Britain, shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost, hindermost being America, of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Right, what's going to cause that? 
the missiles right let's close out Revelation 17 right prophecies are lining up prophecies are lining up everything's taking everything's going to take form but the prophecies this is all prophetic Revelation 17 verse 11 and the beast that was and is not the beast that was and is not Rome even he is the eighth who's the eighth America and is of the seven we we, we name the seven kingdoms of Esau the seven uh, empires of Esau America is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition perdition is destruction right Verse 16, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, NATO and the EU, these shall hate the whore, the whore being America. Something's going to happen to cause NATO and the EU to hate the whore, the whore being America. And shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, burn her with fire, that fire being thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right? Prophecies lining up. Right? But leading up into that cataclysmic event, some things got to take place first. The time of Jacob's trouble. The mandatation and implementation of the MOTB, the CHIP, the Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. Then you'll see the warfare pop off and arrows be shot, missiles be, flown, be, be, be flying. Stay prayed up, prayed out ceasing. Shall I warm to the hope for the elect?